In the last few episodes, we've been looking at the recently launched Core Web Vitals, Google's three new metrics for defining site experience. And today we're talking about the last one. Hi, we have with us Deepak Mankani, who is the SEO expert at Merkle India. Hi Deepak, what is CLS and how does it affect a brand's performance? Hey Omang. So like we've been discussing in the previous couple of episodes that Google has launched uh, a set of three different metrics called Core Web Vitals. And we also discussed about the first two, which is the largest contentful paint and first input delay. Let's talk about the third and the very important one, which is called cumulative layout shift. And this one is actually rumored to be a ranking factor by 2021. There are a lot of uh, chatter on the internet about this particular metric that this can become a definite ranking factor in 2021. So this is definitely a, uh, the most important one in, in those three core web vitals. So if I want to explain what cumulative layout shift is, let me give you a scenario. Uh, let's say if you've opened a website and there is a button that you are about to click and you are all set to click that button, but then suddenly an ad pops up and your button shifts at the bottom and you accidentally end up clicking something else. I think that has happened to a lot of us already. That is basically called a cumulative layout shift. So if, if I want to define, Cumulative layout shift basically means that everything that is there on your website should be static, should not move, and there should not be any unexpected layout shift that give users a shock or which, which are basically not expected by users. So there is cumulative layout shift and Google has actually benchmarked it by giving it a score. So your cumulative layout shift should not have a score of more than 0.1. And how Google calculates this is by figuring out how much proportion of the text on your screen shifted due to several reasons. Got it. So if you have an issue in this area, what will be the impact on your performance campaigns and your site experience? Sure. So I think the, the most important issue that a, a website will face will be about user experience. So. Uh, consider consider a situation where a user is all set to click on some CTA and you know the user ends up clicking somewhere else. Now the user is frustrated and he might not click on that CTA once again. So you've lost an interaction. You, you might have lost a potential lead or you may not have been able to uh, navigate the user to the page that you desire to uh, let him go. So that is the first impact. Now how it impacts the overall media proposition. First, like I told you, this is rumored to be a ranking factor in 2021. This is definitely going to have a big impact in the ranking. And like we have mentioned in our previous episodes that all of these three core web vitals are page level metrics. So every page will have a different cumulative layout shift score. And it is important for brands to make sure that they do not have sudden layout shifts on their pages because it will not, not only impact the organic ranking, but also the page quality score, which will in turn impact the return on investment that you are putting on your paid media spends. Sounds serious, Deepak. So how does a brand fix this? So the first step in order to fix this is to find out what the problem is. And like we mentioned in our previous episodes, Google has already given us plenty of tools to debug this situation. The first tool is Google Search Console. The second one is Google PageSpeed Insights, Google Chrome Experience Report. And there are several other third-party tools that are now integrated with this testing functionality. So the first step is to find out where, what's your score. And from there, you can actually go by fixing those scores. Some of the recommendations that we at Merkle Socrates want to give you are Always use width and height attributes. So if you have any images, if you have any non-textual content, make sure that your developer uh, has a definite width and height given to them. Otherwise, those images will keep floating around the page based on the screen size they appear on. Make sure that you are defining an aspect ratio so that if any user uses a different type of a browser, different size of a screen, your images and your non-textual content gets adjusted. 
make sure you do not use plenty of animations when i say that i want to emphasize that a developer can use css to do the animation rather than doing traditional animations also avoid placing ads at the top of your website because if you place your ads at the top of the website the entire frame of the website will shift down when that ad appears however if you really have to place ad at the top of the website make sure that slot is very very static so these are some of the things that you can use to improve your cls uh, but the key is you should not have a lot of uh, shifting content on your pages if you think uh, your website requires a lot of dynamic shifting you should have accurate ads you can you should have accurate slots for those dynamism uh, otherwise it's just going to get messier and like i said this one is rumored to be a ranking factor in 2021 thanks a lot deepak that's pretty insightful um and with this we've come with the, to the end of the mini series don't forget to check out the previous episodes to learn everything about google's recently launched core website web vitals um and stay on top of the latest in digital marketing